You want to win in retail? You need to be off price or online. Everything else is in trouble, especially in this post-coronavirus world where things are getting a whole lot tougher for the whole industry. Take today. It's a company called Burlington Stores. I don't know if you shop there. I kind of like it. It reported a great quarter, although its stock ended up closing down slightly thanks to the gravitational pull of the averages. But Burlington, a classic off-price chain, put up 3.9% same-store sales growth. Wall Street was only looking for 29 That's a major beat. But I want some margin expansion and the promise of more down the road. And you know Burlington's got a bright future, even if the next few months might be difficult for the whole industry. It's a buy. On the other hand, there's Kohl's, a more traditional brick-and-mortar chain with an online strategy that's just not as good as Target or Walmart. Kohl's delivered an inline quarter and boosted the dividend. But after rallying ever so briefly, the stock started falling like a rock, including a brutal 6% decline just today. At these levels, the darn thing sports an 8.25% yield. Typically, that would signal that the payout may be in danger, but they just raised the dividend 5%. How is that possible? Simple. Because Kohl's is neither off-price nor truly online. So its stock goes begging, even if it's not financially distressed. And it's not. Hey, same goes for Macy's, at least when it comes to the numbers here recently. So department stores have been shedding assets, closing on profitable locations, paying down debt, even developing their own off-price chain called Backstage. Well, cash, you know, the cosmetics boom with Blue Mercury. And, and what does that get you? Nothing but losses for those who own the stock. Macy's has fallen so far, it now has a 13% yield, which is the market's way of telling you that CEO Jeff Gannett needs to cut the dividend. Would he do that to preserve the cash, even though the company's profitable? Maybe. Certainly not in the plan. What matters again, though, is that Macy's is considered to be a full-price brick-and-mortar business in an online off-price world. Worse, it's mall based in most of the country and tourism based in New York. Those two millstones are the last thing a portfolio manager wants hanging around her neck with this virus sweeping the nation. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.